Hi, I'm Scott Wade, the uh, Working Witness Coordinator here in South Carolina. I'm here with some folks from Columbia First, and they're going to talk to us about the Love Your Neighbor Project right here in Columbia. I'm Patsy O'Brien. I'm part of the Stewards Committee. I'm Pastor Eric. I'm the lead pastor here at Columbia First. I'm Charles Skipper, and I work with the Food Pantry. Charles, what does the Food Pantry do? We provide necessary food items once a month, uh, usually it's the second week of the month, to people in the neighborhood and throughout people, for people throughout the city of Columbia. Can you tell us a little bit about how you ended up in, uh, it's an Autumn Ridge Apartments, is that what you told me? That is correct. And we, the apartment complex is very close to our church, it's within walking distance. And as far as I know, we don't have anyone from that church, uh, from that apartment complex that attends our church. So we felt like it was an open place to minister to these people through fun and fellowship on our Love Your Neighbor event. Yeah, Columbia First is uh, very much a mission-oriented church, and it just flows right in with it. One of the things I love about our food pantry is not only are we trying to meet some physical needs of the people, but uh, we take in prayer requests. We just learn that there's other needs that they have, and so this was just a natural uh, next step into the mission and the ministry of what we're trying to do here in our little pocket in Columbia. Good. And our plans are not to provide a, a bag of food like we normally do, but provide items that are not covered under their assistance program, uh, such as uh, health care items like uh, Kleenex, soap, toilet tissue, paper towels, those type of things. What's the activity look like? For the day that we're going to be doing love your neighbor we're planning to have games for the kids we're going to have a dj and we're going to serve lunch we're going to have hamburgers and hot dogs and french fries and one of the things i wanted to say pastor scott is our people are very loving people and we don't know everybody in that apartment complex but the desire of our heart is to know them and to love on them as much as we can as jesus loved on us we, we have a special call in to them. They've already been here and been a part of us, so we expect to just go there and share some things with them, but mostly to love on them. What exactly will you be asking folks to do? Yeah, there'll be a wide range of opportunities. Uh, we've got people that enjoy cooking, grilling, uh, food prep. Um, we've got people who are coming with just planning some games for kids and um, the DJ. You know, when you got music and food, you're always going to draw a crowd and, and just curious people, so that's an important part of it. Uh, but anyone that just wants to come out and, and get to know our neighbors, uh, get eyes on them, uh, just have a good time with them, it's just another step in trying to build uh, those relationships in our community. All right, so is this a one-day event? We're going to begin the event a couple of weeks before the one-day event starts by food drive for things for these items that we want to distribute so I would say it's about a two-week event the event itself will take place on June the 3rd and that's a Saturday that is a Saturday so what time would you want volunteers to come uh, 10 o'clock 10 a.m. 10 a.m. So. yes all right and when they get here what can they expect to find they can expect to be bossed around and given a job to do. They can might end up playing with kids, serving food, and they may even have an opportunity to pray with a lost person. The address of the complex is 3421 K Street, which is just past the church itself. And they have approximately 25 to 30 children there that will hopefully be participating. And we'll have somewhere between 225 and 250 residents. So based on that total number, we would do that, definitely need some help uh, that day to, to work with the children and also uh, answer questions for the adults. And one of the things I failed to mention a while ago is that we are going to have a prayer team there with a prayer table. table. And so if you're not able to work, you can come and join us and be a prayer partner with someone. Take advantage of this opportunity to serve the Lord and represent Him across the state, whether it's here or at Simpsonville or at uh, Charleston. We want you to be involved and love your neighbor. Thanks.